Like every year, 2015 also witnessed a number of farewells, some of the greatest players of the modern era walking away. We take a look at 15 of the most significant of these men. One of Sri Lanka's all-time greats, Kumar Sangakkara decided to put an end to his 15-year career this August, leaving the scene after the second of three tests against India at home. The classy wicketkeeper batsman ended with most one-day international runs after Sachin Tendulkar, while holding the fifth spot for most runs in test cricket. He was last seen in the international arena during India's second test against Australia in March 2013. But when Virendra Sehwag officially announced his retirement on October 20 this year, his 37th birthday, the world of cricket was left reminiscing about his magical knocks over the years. Going into the 2015 Ashes on the back of a successful World Cup campaign, Australia were jolted by England, losing the series 3-2. Clark had retired from ODIs earlier in the year and with the number of injuries bogging him down, he officially left the scene after the series. Brendan McCallum recently announced that he would bow out of international cricket after the Test Series against Australia in February 2016, saying, all good things must come to an end. McCallum's 101st and last Test will be the second one against Australia and starts in Christchurch, his hometown, on February 20. One of the most surprising exits of the year came in the form of Mitchell Johnson, who midway through New Zealand's tour of Australia announced that after 73 tests, he felt it was the right time for him to walk away from the game. Johnson, with 313 scalps, retired as Australia's fourth highest test wicket taker, only behind Shane Warne, Glenn Magra, and Dennis Lilly. Five months before Sangakara bid goodbye, he turned out in a limited overs encounter alongside his longtime friend and another legend, Mahila Jayawardene. Jayawardene had already quit tests and T20 internationals by then, and with Sri Lanka crashing out of the World Cup in the tournament for a final, he quit altogether. Zahir Khan, one of India's most successful pacers, called time on his international career in October, saying his shoulder could not survive the rigors demanded of top flight cricket anymore. Zahir hadn't represented India since February 2014 and ended with 311 wickets in tests and 282 wickets in ODIs. On March 31, Daniel Vittori confirmed his retirement from international cricket, declaring that the World Cup final against Australia was his last game for New Zealand. The decision was no surprise, for it was widely expected that Vittori was on his way out. His departure marked the end of an era that began in February 1997, when at 18, Vittori became the youngest New Zealand Test debutant. A day after he was ruled out of this year's Ashes series in England because of continuous injury problems, Ryan Harris, the 35-year-old Australian fast bowler, announced his retirement from all forms of cricket with immediate effect. Harris made his one ODI debut in 2009 at the age of 30, with Test and T20 international debuts following the next year. Chris Rogers, the Australian opener, retired from Test cricket after this year's five-test Ashes series in England in July-August. Though he made his test debut in 2008, Rogers became a regular in the Australian Test squad only in July 2013, when he played all five tests for the Ashes series in England. Brad Haddon became the fifth member of Australia's 2015 Ashes touring party after Ryan Harris, Chris Rogers, Michael Clarke and Shane Watson to call time on his test career. Haddon, who had retired from ODIs after Australia's World Cup win in March, played 66 tests. Brendan Taylor wore the Zimbabwe jersey for one last time when his side took India on in their last Pool B game of the 2015 World Cup. Taylor signed a three-year callback deal with Nottinghamshire, which meant that the 29-year-old wicketkeeper batsman became ineligible to play for Zimbabwe while the contract was in effect. New Zealand fast bowler Kyle Mills announced his retirement from all cricket after the World Cup as well. Mills was part of the squad in what was his third World Cup campaign, although he did not play a match. He left the game second only to Vittori on New Zealand's all-time ODI wicket-takers list with 240 victims from his 170 appearances. John Mooney, the Ireland all-rounder, announced his retirement from international cricket this December, ending with 64 ODIs and 27 T20Is to his name. Mooney is one of the four Irish players to have played in three World Cups and played a key role in Ireland's triumph over England in the 2011 World Cup in India. Ramesh Pawar, the 37-year-old who played two tests and 31 ODIs for India, played his last competitive match against his former team Mumbai in Gujarat's last league game of this year's Ranji Trophy, 